The recruit on Netflix defies the rules of the spy thriller subgenre by focusing on a young, inexperienced lawyer who works for the CIA. A recently hired CIA lawyer entrusted with processing the organization's received gray mail. If you are wondering whether Owen overcomes all the challenges and survives the pressures of his high-stakes job, here is everything you need to know about the ending of The Recruit Season 1. Spoilers ahead. A recent law school graduate is recruited to work for the general counsel office of the CIA. Owen is a novice and finds it difficult to figure out how to handle the challenging task. Lester and Violet, two of his co-workers, attempt to undermine him. The gray mail folder, which contains messages from various people claiming to know the secrets of the CIA, is given to him. Maxine Max Melods, a woman who claims to be a former CIA asset, has threatened to disclose classified information if she is not allowed to leave prison, according to Owen. When Owen meets Max, he confirms her assertions. He understands the legitimacy of Max's threats. As a result, Owen asks his employer, Nyland, for authorization to look into the situation more thoroughly. Owen makes morally dubious decisions as he seeks to free Max from jail. However, Owen rapidly realizes that the key to surviving in the CIA environment is leverage. In the meantime, Owen's personal life deteriorate, and his friends Terence and Hannah are concerned for his mental health. Amelia Salazar, a co-worker at the general counsel's office, and Owen begin dating. Owen eventually learns that Max had had connections to powerful figures within the council, a Russian mafia organization. She had to leave Belarus because of the restrictions that were placed on it. She relocated to the U.S. and launched a safe home company. She was put in prison nonetheless after killing a man who had abused one of her friends. Max is a foreign national, thus it will be challenging to have her case dismissed. In addition, there is an eyewitness who might influence the jury's verdict. But despite everything, Owen succeeds in releasing Max from custody. But throughout the process, he is tricked and has multiple near-death encounters. Owen's nightmare does not end after Max is released. Agent Don Gilbane arrives at the CIA and convinces Nyland that Max could be a helpful asset due to the changing political landscape in Russia. Therefore, Nyland agrees to use Max as a vetted CIA asset in Russia to gather intelligence. As a result, Owen is dragged back into Max's life and forced to work with her through the dangerous mission. However, Max promises not to manipulate Owen, and they agree to work together. Why did Max kill Kuznetsov? Does Owen quit the CIA? Max and Owen set up the meeting with General Kuznetsov in the epilogue. Max is intended to be reinstated in the Council, the Russian Mafia organization with ties to Russia's political elite, through the operation managed by Agent Gilbane. Max's past, though, makes it likely that Kuznetsov won't reinstall him in the Council. The mission is therefore extremely risky. Attack on the facility is launched by an unidentified gang of attackers, as Max is speaking with Kuznetsov. While some of the attackers slip inside, Gilbane's team confronts them. To assist Max, Owen walks into the building. Kuznetsov is shot in the leg while defending himself from the assailants. Owen kills one of the attackers before he can hurt Max. The experience traumatizes Owen, and he feels disgusted. However, Max kills the remaining attackers. She realizes that Kuznetsov is still alive. As Kuznetsov refuses to allow Max back into the council, she cannot leave him alive. Moreover, with the attack on the facility, it is easy for Max to get away with the murder of an official like Kuznetsov. While Owen pleads with Max not to kill Kuznetsov, she shoots him dead to further her agenda. Max's cold-blooded murder of Kuznetsov ultimately causes a gap between her and Owen. The bloodshed, brutality, and greed associated with his line of employment irritate the inexperienced attorney. Due to Owen's decision to resign, Max's prospects of escape the bloodbath unharmed are eliminated. She requires Owen's legal assistance in order to defend her professional acts. However, as a result of Owen's resignation, Max is forced to deal with the repercussions of killing Kuznetsov. However, before Max and Owen have a chance to consider their decisions, an unexpected threat appears. In the episode's final moments, Max is kidnapped by a mysterious group of masked assassins. Meanwhile, Owen calls Hannah, who is waiting for him in Prague. Hannah arrives in Prague after realizing that Owen might be in danger. However, 
she ends up creating more problems for Owen. In the end, Owen meets Hannah at a memorial park. The duo has unresolved feelings for each other and finally meets to address their situation. However, before Owen can reunite with Hannah is also kidnapped. When Owen opens his eyes, he discovers Max and themselves in a warehouse. Before Owen can process everything, an enigmatic woman walks into the room. When she first met Owen, the woman introduced herself as Marta. She appears to be an assassin for the council, nevertheless. Owen is astonished when Max reveals that the woman is her daughter Carolina. Max had previously convinced Owen that her daughter had passed some years ago. Before Max has a chance to defend her actions, Carolina shoots her in the chest. Max seems to have passed away permanently. Carolina's background remains a mystery in light of Max's passing, nevertheless. Max kept her daughter's identity a secret from the entire CIA. Furthermore, the fact that Max died at the hands of her daughter suggests that Max and Carolina were not close. Additionally, it's possible that Max had previously harmed Carolina, causing her daughter to seek retribution. Nevertheless, Carolina redirects her focus to Owen after shooting Max. Inquiring as to Owen's motivations, she presses for an explanation of his role in Max's activities in Russia. Max's passing ultimately brings Owen back to ground zero. Simply because of his relationship with Max, he became involved in the mission. Although Owen wants to assist Max in returning home, her self-centered behavior overwhelms him. Without Max, Owen's chances of getting away from the council appear slim. Lester and Violet have also been told to destroy any proof of the expedition by Nyland, Owen's superior, in case things don't go as planned. The two don't particularly like Owen, and their top concern is keeping the CIA's activities in the area hidden. The CIA is unlikely to step in to save Owen as a result.